All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Also, one last thing we have added a form section to gfxcomet.com. So go ahead and check it out. And uh, let's get this active. You could discuss just about anything in here. It's just a great place for, you know, the community, for everybody to just. Um, discuss and share things so enjoy the video all right now let's start with the actual effects so we're gonna duplicate this group Control j we're just gonna right click and convert to smart object so we got the text as a smart object let me just center it um hit Control a make sure you're on your move tool and just hit these two buttons it will center it to your selection which is our canvas all right now that we got that let's get on with the effects so first things first make a new layer and i'm going to do this this orange thing let's get on with that um use your pencil hold alt go right in between and just click it will create a clipping mask what that basically means is anything we create um any shape it will be within the text right over here so Pretty easy. Um, we're gonna go to shape. Make sure your fill is on and your stroke is off. And these are just the settings that I have. Uh, all right, so let's see. We go, we go like that. Let me go up here. Clip this in. Go right up here. All right. Um, let's go here. Put this in. This part. And I think that is fine. So let's take all this. I'll shift and then control E. And now we're gonna go overlay and you could duplicate this uh, twice. So let's copy it and just bring it up. Just like that. And you could duplicate it one more time, but this time you could uh, just sort of move it um, as you can see. And also you could bring this up and this up as well. So something like that and you could use your eraser tool in my settings hardness on zero opacity and maybe turn flow down you just erase the rough edges a little bit as well as for this so you rasterize it i don't like this harsh edge right over here so i'm just gonna fix that real quick uh not that uh let's see and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our rectangle tool you're gonna make a new layer let's see how this looks okay all right uh, make your color white now we're just gonna drag a rectangle go back to our move tool and we're gonna clip this rectangle in so just hold alt and click down now, as you can see um, what we're trying to do is you can see these uh, sort of rectangles. I'm not sure if that's exactly what he did, but we can achieve a pretty similar effect. So uh, let's do it. So we have this rectangle and let me find out where is the best place, the best position to put this. Um, we could go across right over here, actually. So right here. See, the thing about tutorials is that um, a lot of these steps are they're pretty natural for me to do. Um, it's just a lot of trial and error. But you know, doing a tutorial and explaining it into steps is something else. But uh, we're just gonna take these three. Um, Control E to merge it. And we're gonna go keep it on normal. I'm just gonna drop this down. Something like that. Maybe just like this. 
Actually, let's play with the bunny mode a little bit. Do a little bit of overlay, copy it, and do this one on normal. Take your eraser tool. And as you can see, some parts are erased out like that. Same with this. So we can erase that out. And just like that. Um, this yeah we can take this and just lower it all right we got that let's turn this off i think that looks pretty good so far